This brief video focuses on an activity I think is critical to add to your therapy toolbox. That is, I want you to focus on energy for healing. You know, there's a mystery of healing when somebody comes to our bedside and holds our hand or touches us on the shoulder. It's really special, and we've all experienced that. It's magnetic. It connects us. So how does this transfer of electrical energy happen? I remember when I was a kid, my dad, who was a Baptist minister, he was magnetic. People loved when he'd lead the singing, when he would preach. On the other hand, my mom, she was shy, but she wrote beautiful poetry, especially when someone would die. So I hope you can tell by my photo, I'm over the moon with joy, and I want to scientifically understand about energy. For example, here's my little dog, Barley. When he goes in a room or when we walk at the mall, he lights up the whole place. How does this little dog transfer energy to fill a mall or fill a whole room? How does that happen? So just like before, here's some books I'm going to read to try to look for the explanation for you. These authors say that the new knowledge we're going to learn will turn medicine in the direction of greater humility because what we're doing now is going to pale in comparison to the self-healing power latent in all organisms. Also, they're going to show us therapeutic applications to restore natural energy flows in our body. The book on the screen right now is my favorite so far. He talks about electrotherapy treatments for cancer that they're conducting in Europe and Russia, not doing in the United States as yet. Also talks about how the science of energetics may be used in healing diseases that conventional medicine has difficulty treating right now. So I'm asking you to do it. I'm asking you to believe in energy medicine. I do, and I think it's helping me. I think alternative therapies and integrative therapies have to be a part of our toolbox. Energy medicine has been practiced for four to 6,000 years in Asia and other countries, so I encourage you to do it. If you don't understand it, that's okay. Let me end with one practical example. They say, put your finger down on a tabletop and it feels solid. But no solids are ever contacted, not for an instant. Rather, the outermost atoms of your skin are surrounded by negatively charged electrons, and these are repelled by similar electrons in the table. The sense that it's a solid table, it's an illusion. And it's an illusion that your mind system has to figure out. Now, there are a lot of healers, there are a lot of people out there that understand this and can help us. And I say, why not take advantage of everything that helps us kick cancer and other illnesses? I'm for it. How about you? So if you're following along with me in 2020, you can see that right now I'm focusing on the 70% of water in my body. And I'm also focusing on the 99.9 .9 or whatever percent of empty spaces in my body through energy. I have my work cut out for me to try to understand these mysteries. But when I'm tired, then I'll go back to my other new love, which is my Koya dancing in my hippie slit bohemian pants. That's all for today, but I'll be back in touch. Blessings to you.